Hi, Mark Gallucci with Digital Control, here to bring you some information regarding target steering and remote steering. Remote steering allows a drill rig operator to control the drill string left and right only. But to do that, we still need to load a value into the target steering menu option. Once we put a value in there, the display of both the handheld receiver and the remote display changes. The remote display it's a big circle with a vertical and a horizontal crosshair. If the rig operator can keep that floating ball on the vertical crosshair, they will be drilling toward that, the rear of that box at exactly 90 degrees. So imagine, if you will, a string line that we put on the handle of that receiver and we pulled it straight back three or four rods. The system is designed to steer you on to that, that string line. The other value that we see, the other change we'll see in both those displays is we get a distance back value and we get a distance below value. So the distance back is quite simple. That's merely the distance that the transmitters behind the antenna array of the receiver. That's the front portion of the receiver. So this is the distance back we're talking about, that span right there. The distance below information has to do with the horizontal plane that the receiver is currently sitting on. So the receiver is currently sitting on this horizontal plane. If we extend that back to the point where we're over the transmitter, this is the distance we're talking about. It's the depth the transmitter is below the horizontal plane where the receiver resides. Now, how far out can you remote steer, controlling left and right? Well, it's a function of the transmitter and the environment, but I make it simple. When I'm remote steering, I put that handheld receiver as far out as I possibly can and still maintain quality roll and pitch information. So that's the, really the deciding factor. Put it out as far as you can and still maintain quality roll and pitch information. Target steering. That allows you to control left, right, and depth, but I can only do that to a, a much shorter distance in fact, that distance is capped at 35 feet or 10.7 meters. So that 10.7 meters, 35 feet, is from directly above the transmitter to over the, over the receiver, 35 foot maximum distance. Other things you wanna remember, over that 35 foot span, we cannot ask the transmitter to change pitch more than 14%. We cannot ask the depth, we cannot load a value that wants to make this depth change more than four foot or 1.2 meters over that 35 foot span. Now, there's also a minimum distance that we can target your remote steer. Rule of thumb, I wanna keep that box one and a half times my depth out in front. So if I'm 10 foot deep, I typically wanna keep my locator 15 foot out in front. If I'm six foot deep, you know, one and a half times six is nine. So I'd wanna keep my box nine foot out in front. That'll av avoid any kind of confusion by keeping that box, you know, at that minimum distance out in front. The other thing we wanna be concerned with is shallow drilling. For us, shallow drilling is when we're drilling, let's say less than 36 inches in depth, one meter in depth, you're gonna to wanna to get that receiver up off the ground. Receiver, transmitter, when they're too close, the field lines, the angles of the field lines coming from the transmitter are too shallow. I need some separation. And we do that very simply by merely picking up my receiver, putting it up off the ground some distance. Uh, let's say two foot. So if I was supposed to come in here at 36 inches, I'm not gonna load 36 inches into the, to the target depth value. I need to add this as well. So I've got the box two foot off the ground, three foot depth. I need to load a five foot value in there to account for the fact that I've now got the box up off the ground. I'm also gonna ask you to get that box up off the ground if you're drilling in a uh, passive interference environment such as rebar. The metal underground can distort the shape of the signal, can weaken the signal, causing a little bit of confusion. So get it off the ground a little bit, you're gonna, you're gonna do better. Please uh, invite your crewmates to watch this video. We want everybody maximizing the Digitrack equipment in their hand. Thank you.